lovelies and welcome back to my channel it's Dominica here with you again and I'm joining you for a January's um, podcast it is uh, still uh, quite early uh, and uh, January has not ended yet but I thought um, it would be a good point to film um, a podcast to show you what I got for Christmas which is knitting related um, to show you what I'm working on at the moment um, January was quite dry uh, in terms of knitting so I thought um, as I don't have a lot of progresses to show you I can just do this kind of um, a video to wrap up what's left from Christmas <laughs> so um, I've just filmed the Lithuanian uh, video and I'm joining you back uh, with the remainder of my coffee that I have left and I'm going to quickly run through uh, my Christmas gifts that were knitting related um, I'll show you my couple of purchases, what I am working on at the moment uh, and um, yeah, so without a lot of chatting let's jump right into um, showing you my gifts so in terms of um, what I got for Christmas, um, so I asked for a few, um, no, I asked for one one um, book. So um, I've got a, a vintage knits uh, as a, just um, a stocking filler or a little um, addition to my gift from my mom. She found this um, in in a uh, vintage shop and she thought that because I like knitting um, and I'm collecting lane books, she thought I might as well find it useful. And um, she just got it for me. It's... Um, it's got 30 knitting designs for women and men um, and uh, as we all know men is a bit more classic uh, jumpers and um, even now I mean they would still look quite good so yeah this is what I got from my mom um, from my sister um, within the budget I've asked for the knitted fabric uh, from Lane and uh, she ordered it from Tribe Yarns and uh, <laughs> uh, she received the parcel she wrapped it up for me and in Christmas morning I have unwrapped this book instead so I think something's gone wrong and orders got mixed and instead of my beautiful knitted fabric I received this so um, I was in a state of panic mode within uh, Christmas because I knew Tribe had sold out of these. So I went uh, and started looking for um, the knitted fabric just to see if you can still order it anywhere. Thankfully Loop London still had few in store so I ordered myself and I finally after Christmas I received my <laughs> knitted fabric. It's a beautiful book, once again made from lane and um, I just love them. I mean how beautifully they are always illustrated and um, the patchwork quilt does come up with a separate quilting pattern and if you do have a lot of patience you can actually make yourself a knitted quilt um, I still don't know if I have enough patience to sew a quilt from fabric so to actually knit um, quilt it sounds a bit still crazy but who knows maybe one day I will make it um, let me see if it has a picture of the quilt it um 
if you are crazy enough to start a project like that, I mean, I'm sure it would look... It's a masterpiece that you would cherish for a lifetime. And probably your kids and your grandkids would cherish it after you are gone. So it's really impressive and um, a great project. Um, you do need a lot of... It's actually, some of it is 25 grams that you need and some 100 grams canes. It's a lot of yarn that you need. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen hundred grams canes and a lot of twenty-five. It it does require a lot of yarn to gather. Um but if you for example knitted one patch a month, um it would be a project for a few years I would guess, but in the end you would have yourself a lovely um, a lovely lovely quilt. The problem is the yarn. Um, it does require a lot of yarn so yeah. Unless you have a lot of yarn and you are looking for a place to make it into a project this is a really really beautiful one you could try. And um, when it comes to this one it's very not my style, not my cup of tea kind of book um, it's a bit of a knitted mess, I would say. Um, when I opened it, um, apart from the fact that the very first picture is kind of naked lady, um, I'm, I'm not sure if I can even show you on um, YouTube before I, like, I don't want to get... Um, blocked but it's it's weird I mean it's <laughs> um, there are some quite beautiful knits but definitely not my style um, it's got it's a bit of chaos in knitting if you're if you're about that kind of life then maybe it's a book for you but yeah I mean I got it um, someone did get a beautiful lane book instead of this and I got this instead of beautiful lane book so um, thankfully tribe yarns were kind enough to issue a refund because they couldn't send me the uh, knitted fabric and I didn't have to send this back so I have it which um, as I said was really nice and kind way for uh, tribe yarns to sort the mix up and um, yeah, in the end I was happy because I did manage to find myself a lane book. Because if um, if it would have been sold out everywhere and instead of my beautiful lane knitted fabric I would have got this in the end, I would have been really really upset with them. So yeah, um, it's a bit of a difference in price tag as well. I think this one is in the range of about £25. Whereas this one, I think, was close to £40, so, yeah, I mean, if you get this instead of this, I'm sure no one complained, but because it was vice versa for me, I did raise a complaint, and um, I was happy to get my money back, well, my sister's money back, that I will now spend, um, I've actually already spent it um, pre-ordering another lane book, so it was a bit of a win-win situation <laughs> that I got myself to treat um, after Christmas as well. So this was um, the books that I got. Um, I've also, as you've seen on my Instagram, got this 100, 100 grams cane in my um, advent calendar. This was a day number 24 and um, sending Christmas roses was the color name. Um, I'm gonna make it into something. I'm not yet sure of what. Obviously I am wearing my uh, jumper that I made using um, my advent calendar and I love it. Um, I make it with a bit of a shorter sleeves so you can see my jewelry, my watch and all of that. Uh, so yes, I also received um, 
some money from my mom for Christmas and uh, when I was thinking what to get myself um, I mentioned I think on here before as well that I would really love a higher higher needle set so this was what I decided to treat myself with from my mom I wanted a um, a full large size uh, not large size but um, a kit that has a small and large size needles but um, it seems that higher higher are a bit harder to find in UK for some reason and um, I didn't find any full full large size um, kit so because I have um, a chargo needle in large I've got seen it and Lika uh, larger sets I thought I hardly ever knit with uh, large knitting needles and the maximum I usually go to is size number five so I treated myself for a smaller smaller kit and uh, instead of um, that I also ordered myself two separate um, sizes of tips that comes into bags like that I have already removed it in my previous video that I filmed so I got myself a two and a half and two two five uh, needles which people call them needles but I I'm, I'm in love with the very sharp needles and um, I don't push the um, the tips with my finger um, instead I move um, the eyes or the stitches that way so I like knitting with sharper uh, needles so I got myself 2 to 5 2.5 uh, the set comes with 275 uh, then we have 325 so number 3 is still missing but it's also sold out so I'm still waiting for the size number 3 to come back in stock so I can order it um, 3.5 um, 3.75 number 4 and 4.5 four and I'm currently knitting my newest project with and uh, number five so what I've learned today is that these do have silver tips instead of these that have a golden one so I've also had to place an order for a miniature cables because the normal small set ones they don't fit from two to two and a half so um, yeah I got myself a miniature one and it also um, didn't come with a uh, uh, stoppers if you want to unscrew your tips and leave the cables on so I also placed an order for two of those um, which would have been pretty, han pretty handy and um, I would have wanted to use them in my current project but I still don't have them so I'm waiting for them to come um, I received a beautiful red case which I wanted um, and it does also come up with um, the cables I think four or five different size cables uh, my ones are in uh, the green color now the cables higher higher could definitely improve on the cables but it is what it is um, I still hope that they can make a nice memory free cables um, apparently the blue ones are the worst I think I have um, not the interchangeable ones but the ones that already are connected to the cables um, from higher higher and blue and um, I need to I need to find it in my stash and do compare it with the yellow uh, the, the greenish one apparently the greenish one is better so um, that's what I chose to get my um, kit with because I did come across kits with blue bluish cables 
Um, the cables are not crazy expensive, they're about five pounds each. Um, this one did come up with um, uh, 60 centimeter, 100 centimeter. 80 centimeters and 40 centimeters so for um, four cables I might buy myself 120 so I have uh, one big one if I want to for example try it try my garments on um, number 40 is quite a short one um, I don't think I would use it as much maybe I would I don't know I'll give it a try um, the tips are five inches long and it's a beautiful, beautiful, long wanted kit that I now have and I'm really happy. And when I got this one, I didn't know that there is a gift coming in with this. So... If I would have known I will get these, maybe I wouldn't have ordered them. Maybe I would, I don't know. But this is the Mindful Conne uh, Collection by Knit Pro or Knitter's Pride, I think in USA. And um, this is what I got. I've got, I think this is a small kit as well. It comes from three millimeter to six. So it has three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, and six. So no 2.5, 0.75. Um, it's either the size or the size and a half. Um, these are not as pointy, but not as dull or, or what's the word? I don't know. I mean, they are, they are nice. If you don't like super sharp needle, needles, these are, I would say, for me, maybe a happy medium. But now as I have higher, higher, I would say chow goose are a happy medium and these are after. I'm just talking about the actual tip pointiness. Um, the only thing with these ones is because they were ordered by someone, not me. They were chosen in a four inch length, which is 10 centimeters. And all of my tips are usually five inches long. So these feel like babies. Um, they do seem really, really small. Their cables are slightly longer, so it does make them longer. Um, So when you mm, put it onto a cape, onto a cable, you get a needle size of about this. So I would say it's a matter of maybe an extra centimeter that would make it perfect. But for now, it's still, maybe I'm so used to five inches long and I need to knit a project with these and maybe I'll fall in love with them. But um, when you unscrew it, they do certainly, I mean, when, I, when I've when i got them and I looked at them and I was thinking, oh my God, they are tiny. Um, which makes me a bit surprised because one time I wanted to buy a shorties from Chao Gu. And now I'm kind of thinking, thanks God I didn't get them, because I wouldn't knit with them. And um, yeah, so the four inch one, I would certainly prefer a five inch one. But um, maybe for um, a neck and um, uh, what's they called? Arm endings? I don't know. My words are kind of going away. Um, yeah, I'm a bit short on words, but uh, yeah, they are beautiful and uh, the whole collection is, is uh, really, really beautiful and nice. And I must say, I'm very impressed with their cables. Nothing like they were before. These are memory free. So very similar and really good competition for Chao Gu. 
Um, I think Chao Gu ones are thicker, but these ones seem to have also a metal wire inside, um, which makes them uh, memory free. So my ones are the swivel cord, which makes they are turn, they turn right here, which is a nice feature. I think my higher highest have the same feature as well. Um, they did come only in two sizes of um, cables. It had a 40 centimeter and 56 centimeter cables. So I have placed an order through um, Wool Warehouse, which stocked them for two more cables. So I I bought myself a 80 uh, centimeter and 120 centimeter cable, and uh, I'm really impressed that they come with beautiful uh, stoppers each cable, and they're only about maybe five pounds each. So um, really nice. Um, it's a memory free cable, and I got myself the swivel one, which rotates 360. Uh, they do also come up with um, the whole collection uh, booklet and uh, you can also buy a cable which is fixed. Teal cable. And they do work with all Knit Pro needles. So if you don't have the, the actual tips you can still get yourself a memory free swivel cable uh, or a teal cable which is memory free so that's a big game changer um, I mean these and uh, the uh, Chao Gu ones are two of my favorite cables for now and uh, I wish and I hope that Haya Haya one day will come up with the memory free cables because there is a way to improve these needles the higher higher as long as i mean their tips are beautiful amazing they're sharp beautiful lightweight the cable is a mess i must say that but i still love them so yeah um it does come with a um five inch 13 centimeters uh tips and that is the belief set and I got myself the kindness set. Beautiful case. It does also come up with a little bag pouch for all the little accessories like cables, needles, stoppers and all of that. Maybe I'll do a review for all the needles and they do come up with a nice bag as well. So now, as I've shown you, I will be able to cut this off and um, and use it. Uh, for now, I'm only actually having one uh, knit, uh, one process, so I'm using my higher needles, but um, I do definitely want to knit something using these as well. Um, I did also, with this gift, I did receive a little row counter which also comes in this lovely pouch and it's a beautiful uh, row counter like that um, a really beautiful small and uh, really um, lovely one to use um, this one is my go-to at the moment I don't want to use my Chinese one that I got from Aliexpress um, this one feels so much nicer and as I mentioned it comes with a lovely pouch so I never lose it at the moment I just keep it in there <sighs> so after the Christmas um, and the new year I was still off for the first week of January and um, I had finished my jumper and I didn't know what to knit so I didn't stress myself out as much and instead of uh, knitting I was doing my cross stitch and I have actually made such a nice progress that I actually made half of 
the half like 25% basically so when I started I had just a bit of this so I have his face beard basically I just have the other half to complete so if I don't forget about it for the whole year hopefully I can hang it uh, on my wall for the next Christmas so this was my go-to process progress that I was working on um, I did allow myself to rest from the knitting and um, enjoyed doing a bit of cross stitch which also made me miss knitting and um, I was really happy when I finally picked the knitting needles and started knitting so um, I also had promised myself to do some I've also promised uh, myself that I will do some sewing so um, I made myself two project bags um, one was this beautiful B pattern with a sewn in middle pouch um, so this is the one I'm currently using and I'm keeping my um, knit in here and uh, I put my pattern, scissors, um, stitch markers and all of that you know in the sides and it's also a perfect size to keep A4 pattern in it um, so this is the one that I'm currently using it's going to be really comfortable to carry it to work tomorrow for some lunchtime knitting and uh, I also made myself this one with um, both fabrics were purchased when I was in Lithuania winter before um, so this is with foxes and this one has uh, one two three pockets here the same three here and it also has a pocket in inside so this one is still waiting for its proof process um, so far I'm keeping my cross stitching in there and I want to transfer it all from this this project bag into this one but for now I'm just putting the whole of this project bag inside the project bag basically so yeah this was a bit of sewing that I did and then I finally realized that I'm now ready to do some knitting so um, I do really want to make myself a, a jacket from um, Mohair so I'm just waiting for some sales on Mohair yarn uh, and while I'm waiting for that I decided that maybe it's time to make my husband a jumper <laughs> hand knit jumper and uh, I find few patterns that um, attracted my attention and uh, I just showed it to him and I said maybe there is one that you would like and he chose a pattern by Vestnitz, uh, Stephen Vest, uh, Brio Garter Sweater which is quite simple, um, a beautiful interesting design all made I think in a garter stitch and a bit of brochet brochet stitch or brochet, I don't know how they call it basically here so this is what I am currently working on and uh, when I was looking for the pattern uh, not for the pattern, sorry, for the yarn I come across um, Kata yarns that I've never never worked with before uh, originally I thought maybe I will make it from uh, Lana Gato yarn but um, Lana Gato were a bit more difficult to find in UK so I come across Katya and it had a beautiful page where, where you could find all um, all the yarns available from their collections and uh, it was shipped from UK so um, I knew there won't be any unnecessary um, charges that I might face. So mine came in this beautiful large box. The shipping was really fast 
Um, I think I placed an order on Tuesday. It was shipped by Wednesday and on Thursday I received it. Um, shipping was free. Uh, I think it's free over 25 pounds. So my order was quite massive. Um, so I didn't have to pay any shipping costs. And um, this is what I got. So I'm going to be making one jumper for me and one for my mom's husband. So this beautiful mustard yellow will be his. And uh, for my husband, you won't believe, but I chose navy. Dark navy, which is currently giving me a bit of a headache because we have a golden retriever, which is currently shedding. And there's hair everywhere, which also ends up on the the the, um, the yarn and my project. So um, I think I'm at the stage where I can just simply imagine yarn when uh, imagine the hair on the yarn, even if it's not on there. I'm going crazy completely. Uh, this one is. Uh, the mustard 79 and the one for my husband is uh, color 83 um, They are a concept by Katya uh, Kashmir 10 which is 40% uh, wool 25% uh, of viscose 25% of polyamide and 10% of Kashmir. So it's a bit of a blend uh, when I was choosing yarn, my husband really doesn't like when the yarn has a lot of fluff. Um, and uh, he hates when the yarn is um, itching. So uh, the cashmere does really help with, um, with the softness. Um, I really didn't want to buy acrylic or synthetic wool. Um, this one is a blend. It does have a viscose, which somewhat is a natural fiber. Um, and I believe polyamide is there just to make it a bit um, more sturdy when knitting. So um, I've started knitting my husband's jumper. Um, my mom's husband's jumper is going to be his gift for his birthday. So I still have some time up to September, I believe. So um, I wanted to start with my husband's jumper so he, hopefully he can wear it. And uh, then I will move on to making... Uh, my mom's husband's one. Um, I've also purchased uh, Baby Merino uh, Superwash by Katya. It's color 92, comes in this beautiful pink. Um, I got this one to make a baby hat and um, maybe socks for a gift for our friends. Uh, so I do also have to uh, find the pattern and uh, get on knitting so I can post the little gift in time. Mm, yeah, so I want. I just bought it just to compare it with um, Baby Merino by Drops. Because I was already making an order, I thought, do you know what, I don't have to pay for shipping, so I might as well just get this one to try out. So yeah, um, so far, really, really happy with the delivery, with the quality. Um, I'm sure I will also uh, buy some more yarn from Katya. I do have one which is I think Kashmina um, Which I've spotted on one of the Lithuanian shops that sell Katya and I really really like it. So Maybe I will um, Get myself that as well when I can think of a beautiful uh, pattern that I can make from it So yeah, um some reason I always keep getting uh, my parcel ripped and uh, as you see it happened with this one as well I don't know if someone wanted to have a little peek to see what is in there um, contents were not damaged not missing it's all fine I don't know who keeps ripping them maybe someone stepped on it or fell on it I don't know what happened but yeah so this is the pattern, this is the yarn, and uh, I'll show you quickly how it looks. So I'm making it with um, my higher higher needles. This is two, two skeins in, so hopefully I have enough yarn. 
I ordered for my husband 10 uh, 1050 gram bowls so now I thinking I should have probably went with 11 or 12 just to be on a safer side but um, we'll see if we need more then I'll just buy some buy more but here it is a really interested construction um, which is really really nice first of all you knit this part then the shoulders um, and then instead of um, going uh, short rows you kind of do little triangles um, and then after you pick all the all the all the eyes which I know doesn't make sense completely but um, really really interesting way of designing it and it's a bit of a change from your regular short rows um, which I think looks lovely for men just a nice classic timeless piece which um, I'm sure my husband will love hopefully he fits it um, but yeah As, when I knit a bit more of it I can then of course try it on to him but I really hope it fits him beautifully and that's what I'm going to be knitting on at the moment that's my progress that's my process I am still in a lookout for a baby's hat and some socks um, and I do need to start knitting on the little gift so I can post it as mentioned that will be my second progress and I'm also waiting as I mentioned for hair sales um, the project that I want to make for myself requires about 275 grams of mohair, which um, can be very pricey. So hopefully, um, hopefully I can get a um, discount. So hopefully I can find it on some discount and uh, order it then, then I can make something for myself. But for now... Um, I will at least have something that I can knit with. So yeah, it's probably gonna be a long video. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. Um, it's hard to get back into routine, especially after um, some time when you don't film. And I was really tired after filming all the vlogmas. Mm, so yeah, I'm gonna go put the videos up together and upload it for you to watch and um, hopefully I can go do some knitting so yeah thank you for watching I hope you are well um, tell me in the comments what your plans for 2023 are and um, I'll see you there so um, hopefully I get back in uh, February for a new podcast so thank you for watching and I'll see you then bye